update on your two All-Stars? Well, DeMar had a funeral situation come up. Uh, he got stuck with that. Cal had travel issues, you know, plane, private plane. So both guys had unfortunate situations, stuff happens. Uh, it's disappointing that we couldn't have our group together, but again, stuff happens. And, uh, you know, they communicated with us and let us know they wasn't, but uh, had a great practice, enthusiastic, getting stuff done. Um, I, I like the feel of our, our, our practice today. Does that put some added uh, importance on shoot around tomorrow to have? Huge, huge. Again, you know, everybody who's involved, whether it's uh, Serge or whoever, their roles don't change. Whether the play calls is different people in them. Like we had Norm in, in uh, uh, DeMar's position, had uh, Corey and Delon and, and Cal's position. So his job doesn't change. Uh, but different people in. But it's important for shoot around tomorrow. We'll have a good spirit to shoot around in the morning. You expect tomorrow back for tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, yes, he, they, both of them should be back here any minute now. So they, they're, they're on their way back. What's, what's, what's it, is it good that you're getting a team like Boston right off the bat a good test against a very good team? It's never a good time to have Boston. They're playing well right now. But, uh, you know, good. It's the schedule, Doug. Um, I, I think our guys are focused. Again, I don't think it's, it's you know, Serge going to come in overnight and pick up everything. But what he does pick up is going to be a huge help. Uh, and I just don't want us to expect, okay, you, uh, even the players expect, oh, uh, we have a box in, uh, it's, everything is fixed now. No, we, we worked on some things for two days now that should help us, but uh, it's on everybody on the, that's dressed and ready to play to do their job. A practice is more spirited with the box in? Yeah, they've, they've been really uh, spirited today. You know, defensively, a lot of defensive work, terminology offensively. Uh, it, it's it's real. It was a refreshing uh, addition to our team. He's a bright, bright man. Uh, he picks up stuff very quickly on both ends of the floor. Uh, and, and again, it, like Doug asked last night, it's a huge difference. Guy's been through the wars seven years, been the NBA Finals, so it, he knows the game. So it's not like you're putting a, a, a young guy in there and hoping he picks it up pretty quick. This guy, he knows. He's gonna make mistakes, yes. And like I told him, as long as they're hard. I can handle it. I mean, we have to talk about adjustment for the players. How much of it is an adjustment for you as well in terms of new body and new rotation? Well, again, a lot of our stuff, you know, it's funny because a lot of stuff that, you know, we have in our offense has a four man included. Uh, we just hadn't had it with Pascal there this year. So we, it's, it's not a lot of change in what we're doing, some wrinkles. Uh, in already what we do, but again, you're looking for that four man on, on the offensive end. But defensively, the job doesn't change. It's same coverage, same positioning, uh, communication. So it's not a lot of difference. It's just adding a, a productive uh, guy. No disrespect to Pascal, who's a, who did an excellent job. This is going to pay, pay back in double for Pascal in the future. This guy's played in I don't know how many games he started, but we were you know, in second place the whole time he was starting. Probably my fault to take him out of the starting lineup, but we were rolling pretty good. Again, the, the league adjust, adjusted to him, but his experience that he got is going to be invaluable. Serge sure seems pretty quiet. Uh, man, Serge, pretty quiet, man of few words. I mean, I, he, he, no, but have you been able to kind of we get... We talked and communicated. We met when he was here for the, as soon as he was traded. Uh, he's, he's a proud man. He's a good man. He's a strong man. My kind of guy, he's, he's tough. Uh, doesn't get rattled, mature for his, for you know, for who he is. But again, it goes back to what we talked about last night. The, the experience he has in the league is not going to be anything new. He hasn't seen a coverage he hasn't seen, an offensive set he hasn't seen. So uh, that is very important of what we're trying to do here. How big is it to have Rex in the Because I just see him talking with Rex right it's now. Good. They, they have a relationship. It's it's always good to have a prior relationship. Uh, you know, with someone, and, and Rex would be a huge help to him. But again, I would take, I trump that with the experience. I bring a guy in here who's been in the league seven, eight, nine, ten years, not knowing anybody except probably Doug, because he's been around since dirt. But uh, you know, it, 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 I would take that experience over that. Trade deadline just about an hour and a half away. You expecting any more changes? I don't. I, I talk briefly to to Masai. Nothing. You know, nothing. I again, I let those guys. They're great at what they do. I let them handle that. I'm more worried about making sure our, our defensive coverage is, our terminology is here. But again, I don't expect anything. Again, I think we're going to war with the group we have. Do you have 13 bodies in practice today? Everyone yeah. like Kyle and DeMar? Yes, yes. 
You still expecting a pot back tomorrow? Yes, so far so good. We'll see what he does. You know, he's done this before where he's had great practices and then tomorrow, but we, we're keeping our fingers crossed and legs crossed that he's that the medical people and he can come to decision. We need him. He's an important part of what we do. Um, just, you know, hopefully his body cooperates with him and lets him lets him play. If he plays, how much do you think he'll see time with Serge? Normal rotations. If you're in uniform, uh, you know, unless there's a limit minute, a limit minute, uh, restriction, then he's going to play. And uh, hopefully we can get back to our rot regular rotations. But are you going to be using him and Serge on the floor at the we'll same see. time? We'll see. We, we, we'll see. We see. I don't want to give all of our scouting report to it. I mean, last year after the, after the deadline last year, you guys were really strong down the stretch the last 25 years. Any reason you can put your finger on that and how you would sort of try to replicate that this year? No, again, you know, these two days, and like I said, that's why it was important for DeMar and Kyle to be here, but like I said, things happen. You know, we treated these ladies like training camp, long practices, uh, very, very physical practices, enthusiastic. We got to treat these last 25 games like five, five game series. This is it. We're going down the stretch right into the playoffs, but again, it's not going to be easy. So we got to be ready, but again, we got to do it with enthusiasm, passion. Whatever happened the last three weeks in the, is down the drain. We got to look forward and use these next 25 games to build that momentum. Is it going to be easy? No. Is it going to be perfect? No. But we got to go into it with the passion and confidence and swagger that we had in the first third of the season. Is that how you've broken it down? Five That's game chunks? Five game chunks. That's what we got to do. We got to, we got to get win those series is, is the key. Expecting more from Norman, Norman Powell down the stretch? Well, we, we do. We expect a lot out of Norm, you know, before the stretch. But especially now with T. Ross out, he's got to come in again. Not offense. We've got to come in and bring a defensive presence, a defensive disposition at that position. Because that, we got other guys can score now. If he scores, it's great. But don't go in trying to do too much offensively. Guard your position, and and that would be a big help from us from Norm uh, uh, at the uh, two-three position.